This past week, we got some news regarding the next big update for Dying Light 2, and in this video, we're going to talk about that. Plus, make sure to watch the whole video because there is an item you can get in the game, but it's only available for limited people. Now, starting with the first news. This news is regarding the next event and the DLC bundle. So basically, Techland is currently at PAX West event, and there they made a special announcement regarding a future collaboration with Vampire the Massacre game. This simply means that with the next update coming this month, we'll be getting a new event and a bundle for the players. Also, here's what it looks like. So yeah, this is the outfit you're going to get, which in my opinion looks really good and I also love the red eyes. By the way, you can also see a weapon in his back which most likely is a silver blade, machete or a sword. Those are some common weapons a vampire hunter usually carries. Now what more we are getting in this event or bundle is currently unknown because the twitter page that announced this quickly took this down. So I really think they made a mistake and announced it a bit early but no worries in the upcoming weeks we are going to hear some more news about this event plus Techland is going to collab with a lot more games in the future. Honestly, I hope they do a collab with Dead Island 2 because that would be awesome. Now before we move on to the next news, I want everyone to please subscribe to my second channel, BGA 2.0. Yes, in BGA 2.0, I'll bring you more frequent updates regarding Dying Light 2 and your favorite game in a short content format. So yeah, from today onwards, all the shorts will be posted in BGA 2.0 and Best Game Early will only be for long format videos. So make sure to subscribe to both the channels and keep all the notifications turned on. Now, moving on to the next news. This one is a great news for people on consoles as they will be able to play custom maps in the next update. Yes, the same way us PC players are able to download and play the custom maps directly from the main menu. Soon in the next update, which is the community update, console players will be able to do the same. Which is a good thing as you will be able to play some of the great maps, in fact even play my map and in the future you will also be able to play Elysium map. So yeah, it's definitely a good news because after beating the game we finally have something else to do on consoles. Now moving on to the next news which is regarding this limited time offer that gives you this cute little weapon charm. The weapon charm is called Lars the Troll which you can grab right now by heading to the Steel Series website. Just go to the website and click on all giveaways or just click on the link I provided and sign up to create a Steel Series account. Make sure to do that because it's actually needed. If you already have an account then log in and click on get key and wait for a minute to reveal yourself a docket code. Once you have the docket code you can now redeem it at pilgrimoutpost.com and then simply go to the game and open the docket and enjoy your weapon charm. Now remember these docket codes are limited so it's like first come first serve. So yeah be quick pause this video and redeem it right now then come back and watch the next news which is regarding some major outfits and weapon bundles. Now these weapon bundles I'm about to show you is data mined by Bub so I use shout out to him. So what he found in the game files were basically these three bundles named ninja bundle, reborn bundle and finally this samurai bundle. Now out of three of them the reborn nuclear mine bundle is my favorite because this outfit has a special skill that allows you to set everyone around you on fire. I know it's not a random skill this skill can actually be triggered at will. And yeah, this is what the bundle looks like. Also, the description of the bundle says, the suit creates a fire blast when activated, unleashing flame hell. Reborn nuclear mine, a pocket size end of the world simulator, portable for your convenience. So yeah, this bundle has all the armor pieces, a weapon and a parachute. Now, looking at the next bundle called the Nimble Ninja Bundle, whose description says, with their mastery of stealth and combat, ninjas spring from the shadows to set upon their unsuspecting adversaries. Now, we don't know if this outfit will have any special perk, but if it does, I would really love a stealth one. But yeah, this is what the bundle looks like. Next, and the final bundle is called Savage Samurai Bundle. The description of the bundle says, Elite Warriors of Honor and Discipline, they master ancient combat techniques. Drawing inspiration from traditional Japanese samurai culture, they have adapted their skills to the harsh realities of a dying world. And yeah, this is what the bundle looks like. Now, let me know in the comments your thoughts on these bundles as they will be part of the next update and will be launching with the Dying Light points and the introduction of the in-game store. So yeah, this is the latest update for the next big update which is coming this month so expect more news from Techland very soon. Don't forget that they're currently at PAX West so we might see some more collaborations. But yeah, if you have any new info drops then you know where to look for to stay updated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video till then stay safe and stay human.